We're back in our perfect city of Newwalker, where we've just built a brand new shopping hub and residential district. But now, the greatest DLC for City Skylines ever has been released, which adds in banks, financial districts, and in-game stock trading. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and today we're gonna mess around with the financial DLC, build out our downtown core, and make millions through whatever means necessary. And speaking of finances and all that jazz, let's quickly talk about today's sponsor, Factor. Factor delivers fresh, ready-made meals to your door that are designed by dietitians to help you reach your health goals. Now it's always difficult getting started on a meal plan, so having delicious, ready-made meals delivered right to you makes it way easier. And with everything ready when you are, there won't be as much temptation to get takeout either. And personally, I wish I signed up with Factor ages ago. I tried for years to eat healthier myself, but learning the recipes, finding the ingredients, and dealing with all the dishes made it too inconvenient to get the habits to stick. It would've just been so much easier if I invested in myself a little. So take this opportunity to sign up to Factor today using my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use code HOGKIBITSDEX60 for 60% off your first box. So again, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code POGKIBITSDEX60 for 60% off your first box. And thank you Factor for sponsoring this video. Now with healthy foo, let's make a healthy economy. So what is actually new with the DLC here? Uh, it is a new district, so where is that? Here? No. Offices? Yes. Financial office buildings, which are office buildings that have a higher tax income, which also gets boosted by building a stock exchange, an international trade building. How do I do that? I want one of them. Ooh, stock exchange. So that's our financial hub. And as we make more money, we get new things like a bronze cow, a bronze panda, elevated plaza, underground garden plaza, and finally, an international trade building. And the best thing of all, in the economy tab, we now have taxes, budget, loans, and investments. Which we unlock once we build a stock exchange. And where would we build that? I'm kind of considering making all of this a giant financial district, but also... It would make a lot more sense to have it kind of here because we have our transit hub there. We could put offices all through here. The monorails are easily accessible. I think our subway is poised to work right in this area too. Oh yeah, this is perfect. We have two lines going over this way and we have another station that points right in this direction. Okay, yep, seems pretty good. And I think we're gonna get rid of the rock. Like I was thinking of doing something with it, but bruh, stock exchange though. Also, it's about time we got rid of all of this temporary stuff. So we we'll need to buy. And let's adjust the terrain so it's nice and even. And with that, we are ready to get started. So how big is the stock exchange itself? It is pretty dang big. Okay. That means it'll make for a perfect centerpiece. Then just for the rest of the area, I want to just block it off here. Because we have this weird terrain difference, I'm probably just gonna have a bunch of trees and paths going through that point, just to kinda hide it. Then we'll do all the major finance stuff in this square, approximately anyway. And for the exchange itself, I actually kinda want it up here. That way we can fill the whole square with office buildings, and we have a ton of space over this way to kinda decorate. How's this building look? Awesome, freaking awesome. And I think it evolves too as things level up. Yeah, investment gains until next level. It's all about investment gains. Yes, yes. I love finance, guys. I love finance. This is amazing. I'm so excited. Death care service fund, where health care fails. We excel, <gasps> perfect for a city that has little meteor accidents every so often. Well, what's the little tab down here say? That the investment tab lets you invest your money into various companies and investment funds. Their value development is affected by what is happening in your city. Really? What I do in my city will directly affect the stock prices? <laughs> that won't be prone to manipulation at all. Oh my gosh, there's even crypto stuff. 
Chirp, air, farming. Oh, of course, all the industries. <laughs> We're going to make so much money. Okay, well, let's just buy this death care thing. Sure. A thousand shares? Yes. Why not? Okay. Uh, let's let the game play for a minute. And we've already made $10,000. Okay. Sell. Are there any fees with this? No. We just made $10,000. Did we? <laughs> I'm a financial genius. My god, we don't even have to manipulate stuff. Oh, but seriously, this is the danger zone. I could honestly just play this game forever just in this screen. Ooh, generic industry down 30%. That's what we call a deal. We get a bunch of those shares. Thank you. Will it ever go down further? Probably not. Oh, did it just go down? Where is it? Looks like we bought at the bottom. Hmm, stock price isn't moving at all though. Well, that's probably because I'm not doing anything in my city then, right? Probably. Should we invest in other things? Oh gosh, gasoline's going crazy, go figure. Healthcare's maxed out. Traffic logistics? Oh, that's kind of neat. That probably has to do with our traffic tab here. So if we cause like a giant congestion, we could just make money off of that. Perfect. And perfect traffic flow too. Almost. And wait, the very legit company. Our business is perfectly legal and not shady at all. Well, I'm sold. Buy maximum amount of shares. Oh, and then we lost 40 grand on our other investment? Wait, it's moving all over the place. What? Now we're up 21,000. Ooh. But our very legit company, it went up to like 2,000. And it's gone. No, you know what, I can't look at this. The actual thing you do as an investor is just invest in super basic stuff and then forget about it. Ooh, that's a lot of traffic though. We'll solve the traffic pretty quick. Uh, we need this area kind of dealt with first. So like usual, we gotta get the transit options in here and a couple of roads. So we'll start with just a basic road layout, kind of following the streets and avenues we already have designed and built around the city. And then that will give us our basic grid here. Oh, look at that. A street lined up perfectly with our stock exchange. Nice job, me. Now, transit-wise. Of course, we're gonna bring the metro just straight down this way. And by using the same transit hub we had before, we can combine all of our lines together. So if we just had that there, we can combine the vertical and horizontal loops. And then we could have another station over this way, way later on. Make kind of like a figure eight of metro stations. But of course we need the monorails too. And then like a perfect world? We just have this kind of going straight. This curve will not really allow that. So why not just upgrade that road? Then this could go to there, huh? <laughs> That will need adjustment. And then we have an in-road monorail station too, which we can just throw in the center of the district. And at this point, why not just upgrade this whole road? Oh, because it ruins our subway thing, but that's okay, we can move that. Or maybe not. That kind of looks awesome. What if we just moved it a snudge so the plants are off the street? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Overall, that is kind of all of the main stuff. What else would we really have to do with this district? Oh, the tram. Well, easy, we just turn that street into a tram street, then just figure out how to connect that to the rest of our system. And okay, that was a little bit easier said than done, but I've managed to make things work, and we have a tram system that kind of goes in like a block up over this way and around, just throughout the financial area, kind of on the outskirts. Then, since we had the main square in, I kind of just decorated and added in some logical paths, like a main road coming from here and to there. And then I started a little bit over in this direction because I was like, I want an angled road. So I built an angled road and shoved a monorail line over there. Speaking of the monorails, you know that little tiny issue we had at this corner? Yeah, I couldn't handle that. So I ripped up half the monorail stuff in our entire city and redid it. It had to be done, okay? It, it's like a Sudoku puzzle, or knocking over a domino. It just changes everything, and yeah. Everything's actually a lot better now, though. So that's good. And the monorail runs through here, the industrial area, 
and then up to there. Cool beans. We can keep on moving and grooving. Let's see how our investments are doing. Not enough electricity. We don't need to worry about that. We need to make some money here. Because now we can zone this whole area, unlock all the new parks, and level up our buildings. So, manage investments. Yeah, let's make the time go a little bit faster. And we have to make $50,000. Oh, hey, $25,000. We'll take that. Thank you. And is this one going to profit for us? We're going to the moon, right? Oh. No. Oh, okay. Let's stop looking at that. Good idea? Maybe. It's something that looks like it's a little crazy. Healthcare. Healthcare is going nuts. Let's buy a million dollars. Oh, what the f- No! Ah! I just put a million dollars into the healthcare fund. And it's going absolutely insane. That was all of our money. I can't play around anymore. Somebody sent help. Ooh, 18,000. Take it. No! Ah! <laughs> I should have slowed down the game. I'm pretty sure I just lost 60 grand there. Oh, but it doesn't take out of our investment gain total. Ah, only count the gains, never the losses. That's how you win in investing. Uh, do we do it again? Look, this roller coaster looks too fun. I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Just go all in every time. What could possibly go wrong? See? Gain $10,000. Oh, no. Lose $10,000. Missed it. Gain $17,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's take this. That market is way too crazy for me. How's gas doing? Gas is way too high for me to buy. This looks like it's not doing good. So let's pick up a bunch of shares there. For a quick easy thousand. Quick easy five thousand. Seven thousand. To the moon! Oh, negative three thousand. 4,000, 6,000, the moon again, oh, zero, 3,000, please stop playing with my heart, 16,000, okay, enough, enough, let me off this wild ride, and I feel like we've made a bunch of money now, yes, yes, we did, $63,000, hmm, master investor Kibbs up in here, upgrade cost, 15k, yes, Ooh, oh, we got a small bank. I didn't know we got banks. Whoa, 250,000 in gains. That's gonna take like five minutes. Okay, if that's gonna take five minutes, let's park some money then. And we'll leave that be. Okie doke. So for the rest of this, let's get zoning or making the actual district is probably more important first. And then we set it to financial office buildings. And we're good. And also those new parks. How do we build those new parks? A cow. Eh. Panda. Eh. Oh, what? That's it? So small. Fine. We will have the cow over here. Enjoy your time there. And what was going on with those banks? How do we make the bank? Police stuff. Wait a second. There it is. It's in police. Small bank. Large bank. And skyscraper bank. Oh, cool. So we can have these massive skyscraper banks all over the place. Yeah, we will be doing that, bud. Uh, we will have a small bank just to start with. I guess we want that over here somewhere. Well, if it's going anywhere, I guess it can go here. And what does the bank actually do? Reduces commercial zone crime rate by using cash transport vans to safely deliver the money. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. We definitely have to get another bank near the center of our city here. But for now, we're gonna wait because I'd rather have a bigger bank. And let's let the game play so we can see the new office buildings. That is a customer service services. What? What? Do we have to make this not a walkable area? Let's do a test. Let's get rid of most of the walkable area. And okay, here we go. There are some new buildings. Dude, that place looks sick. Oh, and a nice little corner building. That's nice. Whoa, you bud. Okay. Getting a little crazy now. Getting a little crazy. Oh, what the heck is this? What? They put like a tower on top of the cozy corner building. How could you do this? It's kind of weird. We still have a lot of the walkable stuff going on too. There's a bit of a weird mix. But I suppose if we went just straight from super colors to 
not super colors would have been a little weird. Also, what is going on with the traffic? Oh, wait. I switched this up into a giant roundabout. And also, got rid of the highway exit. So the only way for cars to leave the city, or at least the quickest way, is through the industrial zone. I should change that. So I quickly tried adding in more highway entrances and exits, but that didn't really help. The problem was actually because of something new. We have all of our city as a walkable district, and everything is set to be delivered. So deliver everything, which means service points kind of deal with all the dirty work of our entire city. And that's where all the vehicles were trying to go. They want to go to these service points. So I placed them near the entrance of the city just to see if I was right, and yeah, all the traffic is gone from over here. So now this is all I have to deal with. After doing a few shenanigans, looks like I have dealt with it, meaning our traffic is... <laughs> perfect again. Awesome. Does this mean our stocks went up? Please. I need my money back. Ahaha! <laughs> perfect. Give me the 100k. Sell them all. And very legit company? Down 8%? We're going back in. Okay, so finally, back to this all. Uh, let's zone in more office buildings, of course. Add some in here, there, and everywhere we can. And since this is our nice little office-y area, let's add in a very fancy park, an official park, you could say, and we can tie it together with another park. It's like one giant thing. Man, demand is still skyrocketing, so more offices. Oh yeah, that's looking super cool. Look at some of these new assets. Not the in-game stuff, silly. I'm talking about my money. Look at that, give me that profit. And with that, we can upgrade our stock exchange yet again to level three. Elevated plaza, large bank. Nice. And our tower grows even larger. And as for this plaza, nice and square, I like it. We can throw that over by our transit area. Oh, that's nice. Super fancy. And we have our large bank as well. And that can go into the center of the city here. The next level up is a little too insano. So we're just sticking with that of the building that's already there. Bye. There we go. We got our bank. Very... Um, okay. You know, I gotta admit, that is a horrific design, and I really don't like that, but... Look, we need a bank. Is there anything else going on with the bank? No? Cash collected last week? Nice. <gasps> oh! You can change how it looks! This is the future. Oh, this is the future. That's so cool now. Everything is better, including our investments, right? Right? No. How much do we need for the next level? $750,000? Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. So I think we might just call it here for today. Meaning we're gonna have to finish off the rest of this next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye-bye.